is your first mission trip, right? Okay, what are you thinking? Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, we stayed at the Promise Home. It was a very, very beautiful thing to see. The view was just amazing. It was really cool to see that they treat each other like their brothers and sisters. The kids just came at us full blast. A lot of kids there that were just really cute. The house parents and the people that run it and the missionaries that come. Everybody is like all in. We did a VBS with the kids. I just played games with them. There's a song and my dad really likes this song. So he thought it'd be a good idea for everybody on the team to learn it to we teach the kids. We really felt that we spoke into that kids' lives and made an impact and a difference. They showed us some missionary houses that they had to finish. We woke up Monday morning at six and went to work. We're digging this trench here for um, a water pipe so that we can get some missionaries in here on Monday. 18 inches down, 100 feet long for water, electricity. We dug it with shovels, pickaxes. If we didn't do that, they would have to do that. We can get that done in three days instead of them spending a whole week on that. So street ministry, basically door to door, prayed for people, prayed for protection, healing. Easier than I thought it was going to be. There was a lot of salvations. We led a few people to Jesus. We'd walk around, we'd pray, we'd hand bags of rice and beans out to the people. People have a lot of chairs. They would walk into their house and then they would pull out like 50 chairs that they had. Like, where'd you get those from? It was pretty interesting to see how welcoming they were. They wanted to share with us. We were giving something to them. They just wanted to give something back to us. The lady just started picking her fruit. I ate a lot of fruit that I never had before. Rambutans. Mangoes. Avocados. Got to eat a coconut. Star fruit. After we did street ministry, we invited the people there to come to the church in the area. The church was struggling a little bit. It was very different. Dirt floors, wood to hold up a metal ceiling. Electric stuff looked very unsafe because there was just random wires. They made the stage as best they could. It doesn't matter. The church isn't the place, it's the people because we are the body of Christ. The church is just where we meet. During the church service, when there was an altar call where people will come up to get prayed for, it was us who were praying for all the people that came up there. It was very awesome to just pray over the kids. I've seen all the people at the church because they knew what it was to give everything to God. Probably what made the biggest impact was just seeing them not be afraid to give, even if they didn't have a lot of stuff. 100% of our growth comes when we're being uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to get uncomfortable for God's work and do something you don't want to do. And that's exactly what we did. It was amazing. I would say I'd do it again, over and over again, a hundred times. Do you think that people should go on a mission trip? <laughs> yes, you should go.